So Brody's a really unique cat, and he's one that, where most cats that come into the veterinary hospital are scared. You know, Brody's a very outgoing cat. Uh, Brody has a big personality. Uh, he was always exploring the room. You know, and even through radiation treatment, he got to know my technicians, my team, my treatment area. During that time, he's always bright, alert, and he's always affectionate. And, you know, he's, it's quite inspiring when you have a cat like that who kind of maintains the personality and, you know, for lack of a better term, composure through radiation treatment. Hi, my name is Sally Williams and I am the founder and director of the Brody Fund. I am a lifelong animal lover, a lifelong pet sitter. I think I started pet sitting at 13 years old and um, then became a shelter volunteer and eventually became a cat behaviorist. Um, so animals have been my passion for as long as I can remember. So the Brody Fund is a unique nonprofit that benefits dogs and cats and potentially other animals with a recent diagnosis of cancer. And so for those pet owners who need financial assistance, most funds, nonprofit, well-intentioned, are the funds are divvied up based on clinical need, but also based on overall prognosis, which unfortunately has excluded many patients diagnosed with cancer. The Brody Fund fills that void. I think the Brody Fund is very important because it gives pet owners and patients the opportunity to maybe do treatments that they wouldn't have available to them otherwise. As a radiation oncologist, every day you're sitting in rooms with multiple owners. And when there's an opportunity like the Brody Fund to start something new, start something unique with Sally Williams, and her cat Brody and the energy that they both possess, you know, at the end of the day makes you feel real good because you feel like you're giving back to an area that is your personal passion, but also that has had a void that is now being filled. I think for me, the fund is really, really important because where these decisions are already really scary and it's an intense time and having to deal with finances on top of trying to figure out what the best route of care is for your pet is really, really difficult for people, especially if they don't necessarily have it because it can get expensive to treat them. And so taking that out of the equation really, really helps the clients. So there are a lot of different ways that people could get involved with the Brody Fund. Obviously donating is wonderful, but it's not the only way that you can help. Volunteering is amazing. We encourage people to join us. We do events and we do outreaches. We're just sharing our message. I mean, social media now, if you like us on Facebook and you share our page and just kind of share our message, that's just helping us grow and helping us reach people because I can talk about the Brody Fund and we can do a video like this, but um, we need everybody's help to kind of gain awareness so that the people who do need assistance from the Brody Fund can find out about us. It's not just getting donations, it's spreading the whole message of what the Brody Fund is. So when uh, families are presented with the diagnosis of cancer in their pet, it can be a really scary time and you probably go right to the, that place, you know. Um, but with the Brody Fund, we hope to remove some of that because the financial part of it can be taken out of it. You can have the help that you need and uh, have the hope and have this extra time now that you want to have with your pet. Um, I hope that the Brody Fund can do that for a lot of people and make the cancer diagnosis a little less scary and um, that you realize that there, there is more to this, that you can still have like what I have right now. I mean, I have this, this amazing cat and the gift of time and I hope that the Brody Fund can do that for more people.